Hello there, this is Retro Spirits Garden, and this is Rage by id. Uh, this is the Xbox dashboard, the old 360, resplendent in the green, black and grey. The colour combination of kings and death. Uh, we've got a black screen here. Do love a nice black screen, that's fairly black. Has to be said, super black. Got no logos yet. It's loading in real time, people. Oh, uh, we've got a cube. Bethesda are on board. Uh, we've got some sort of id logo. Um, Zenny Max Media, don't know who they are. Uh, Rage is a first person shooter set in a post apocalyptic landscape in which you drive a quad bike around uh, a desert environment shooting people in the face with extreme prejudice. Uh, I've got a continue campaign thing here. So I haven't played this game for, it's got to be getting on for, I don't know, seven years. I don't know, when did this come out? And um, I bought it uh, when it was fresh. It came with some sort of extra DVD, which I've never looked at, called the uh, Collector's Pack or something. Still factory sealed, that is. Uh, the game itself, though, I did play for a little bit. Um, I kind of enjoyed it up to a point. It's a bit clunky. Um, the main reason I bought it was because of the graphics engine. Uh, because of the graphics engine it had some sort of uh, mega textury thing going on. That quad bike there was colourful. Uh, this is a indeed a post-apocalyptic landscape. What the cause of that apocalypse was, I don't know. I'm sure it's explained in the game. I think it's fairly brown and grey. Uh, we do have a yellow bollard there and a yellow sign. Um, I've got a feeling I've already cleared this area out. Ooh, there's some low res stuff there. Uh, as a tech demo, it's fairly impressive uh, for the old 360. You get these expansive areas. You get uh, fires. That sounds like a, a lovely log fire. Uh, a car that looks like it's been stamped on by Godzilla. Uh, you get uh, a car that's been uh, upturned and stuck on a hill. It's all, all lovely stuff. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of detail in here. None of it is particularly resy, taken by itself. But it's the overwhelming amount of stuff that's textured and kind of blobbed on top of each other which gives it visual fidelity that's um, the words visual fidelity don't really uh, cover that area there because that was quite crappy but close to the player here yeah, it's all right you've got some metal things which are sort of badly bent into place anyway um, it was a game I think created based on the tech not the other way around so uh, it's really um, more of an engine thing than a gameplay experiment I would say because the gameplay is fairly familiar territory for id apart from getting on a quad bike and the quad bike is actually the clumsiest bit of the game from what I remember um, it looks like I've cleaned this area out of uh, dudes I'm sure there were some punk style dudes that kind of accosted me around here somewhere. And um, looks like I've blown them all away. So, what do I do? No signposting, see? That's the horror of quick saves and mid level saving. I don't know what the hell I'm doing there. Sound design is quite nice. Uh, some atmospheric kind of creaks and wind noises. Uh, which you probably can't hear because I'm yapping over the top of it, right? Uh, annoyingly, with my stupid voice. Uh, oh, Stufa, isn't that um, Harry Hill's pet cat? Wasted. Uh, so Stufa is in this environment somewhere. A blue cat, so if you see it, shout. Um, we have got more broken brown, dirty grey stuff. Ooh, secret area. It's a bucket. It's got poop in it. Oh, crazy. Toilet roll on a stick. 
Um, okay, random. That was a, a developer joke, no doubt. They've got one bucket between them. They do have a bucket to piss in. Interesting. The sky textures a bit weird. Uh, navigation's all right. I mean, I haven't done any gunplay yet, so I can, you know. I mean, the game could signpost some stuff to help me out here, but I don't think that's essentially what the game's about anyway. It's kind of it was trying to have that open world feel to it, and it never really felt that way. It just felt like loads of um, disconnected, well, unique areas connected by uh, small pieces of road. Never felt like a proper open world in this game. Uh, maybe that was the point? I don't know. Ooh, I found a brown tunnel. Uh, locals only. It's, it's getting tense now. Is there going to be a dude going to jump on my face? Or at least expect it. No! Ooh, electric buzzing. There's a light there. Okie dokie. Some vista work here. Um, has this game aged well visually? I mean, it's not bad. It's not brilliant, but it's not bad. Um, you can probably pick this up for about two quid on the old Xbox 360, but you can probably get the sequel for uh, the equivalent amount of money on a Xbox One. So if you're going to play Rage, I guess you should really buy the sequel on a more recent console because they probably expanded on the gameplay greatly. Hmm, get ready to die. Oh, Ooh, there's a door. Didn't know I could interact with that. Have I walked past a load of doors that I could interact with and ignored them? Wasted garage. A bit like my garage at the moment. It's just got cardboard boxes and polystyrene in it. Could do with having a bit of a clear out. Anyway, uh Looks like that guy's um, angry for no, no real reason. Uh, he's very artistic. He likes to. Um, he's got plenty of spray paint. So one thing they're not sure of in the future is spray paint, because uh, they will tag absolutely everything. Ooh. Got a different soundscape here. Distant thuds. Uh, rebar. Rebar models till Tuesday. Uh, is this it? Is this is what I've got going on here. Uh, computers, filing cabinets. Why are there road signs under? Oh, hello. A lock. Uh, I need to do something here. You must have a lock grinder to open this door. Someone give me a lock grinder. Stop me looking at this really horrible low res janky geometry and texturing. Do you know what? I don't think I'm going to play this game ever again. So yeah, I haven't played it for seven years. I don't know what I'm doing. I can't bother to start from the beginning again. Graphic uh, graphics are alright though for a 360. Not bad. Um, the mega texturing thing worked, didn't it? Hey. Eh? They took that to the next level in things like Doom and uh, Doom Eternal. So you can't argue with it. What's he doing here? Uh, he's resuming. Uh, no, there are no lock grinders in there. Um, something tells me I have to go and talk to someone uh, to get a lock grinder. Because there are NPCs in this game. Yeah, uh, if you got this free and you've got a 360, like someone just gave you a copy. I'd say give it a go, but um, I wouldn't go out of your way to get it. Like I said, you got the sequel. The sequel's better. And uh, the first Doom game on the Xbox One and PS4 is supposed to be very good, although I've never played it using the same technology. Uh, talk to everyone. There are a lot of jobs to be done. Yeah, I do remember there being NPCs. I don't remember everybody wanting to talk to you, though. Uh, I'm just going to turn a bell around. Okay. Survival tips. Let's get out of here. 
Yeah, very atmospheric. You've got a hanging fog there. Nice stuff. This is a bit ugly. When they pick everything of the same colour palette, like the dirt there is the same colour as the walls, it's very difficult to kind of pick anything out. So it all come, becomes kind of like a grey black mess to my old man eyes. Um, I can't remember whether the characters were colourful. Maybe they've done that so when the characters come on screen they, they pop a bit more. Or maybe it's just the easiest way to make things sit together, is make them all the same colour. But, um, yeah, it makes for a fairly uh, dull looking game. Got these spot colours here with, um, like where the fire is, just to liven it up a little bit. There's the old quad bike. Lovely. Looks tiny! He's a tiny person on a huge bike. That's very strange. Um, so yeah, it promises uh, you've been able to drive around everywhere, but it's not how it is. Just two metres up from the road from um, the evil people's den is a uh, working town. Uh, which is groovy. I think I can talk to people here. Uh, flush the handle. Stand the express mailbox. Uh, get some jobs from there. Can't drive in there. There's a dude. Oi! Aldi! Not interested. Oi! Glasses! Not interested. Seems like not everybody wants to talk to me. Oi! Hat boy! Not interested. Uh, talk to you. Talk to me. Somebody talk to me. Hey, uh, yo! Hat boy. You need to get up to that radio tower and see if you can realign it. Oh, okay. I like a you yellow jacket. Get up to that radio tower and see if you can okay, you can you can repeat yourself if you like. I don't mind. Have you found any trace of Juno? Oh, she's got like a robot arm. Oh, that's crazy. Oh, can I go in this door? Some doors I can go in, some doors I can't. A uh, robot woman is talking about towers as well. Mm, I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah. It's a game. Uh, it's cheap. It's a first person shooter. It wasn't that engaging. I don't remember uh, loving the game. I kind of had to play it out of necessity. And um, as you can see, if you uh, save a game and then don't know or can't remember what to do, the game is empty and actionless. Not a good advert, huh? Never mind. That's, uh, that's rage. Alright, I'll let you watch the rest of the video. Ta-ra!